Hello and welcome to your daily love reading for Wednesday. Wonderful Wednesday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in three decks of cards for this reading today. We're going to bring in this beautiful Sacred Feminine Affirmations Oracle. I'm going to bring in the Spirit Song Tarot, which is a really beautiful one. I love that we've got the Dragonfly on the guidebook here for change. You may even be seeing dragonflies right now, or 555. And I'm also going to bring in some guidance from Mother Mary, because... I really feel that you're going to be communicated with in dreams. What they show me intuitively, they give me fear. As if you're in fear right now of what's going to happen or what the next step is. I feel that your person is going to come to you in a dream and tell you. So it's not really going to be a dream at all. It's going to be an astral visit. So, for example, they're going to come to you in a dream and say to you, I'm going to get a divorce or... I'm going to leave that karmic partner or I'm going to move out of that place or I'm going to change my job or I'm going to earn more money or I'm going to quit that addiction. Whatever it is that seems to be a block in your connection, whenever it is they need to deal with or heal to be a bit available for you, to be able to be with you, but also to be emotionally and physically available to be with you. That's what they're going to let you know in a dream. So I want to bring Mother Mary in to see what guidance she can bring in about this too, to bring comfort in. Because these dreams may not even make sense to you, but I feel that you're going to just know. You're either going to have a clear word about what is going on, or you're going to just feel it or know through your intuition that they are making a big change. And not long ago when we did a Them To You reading, we got the within six weeks. So there's definitely changes occurring here within the next six weeks, you know, as we move into the full season. So let's connect with your energy, their energy, and see what's going on. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. And if you're interested in life, purpose, and what your mission is and all of that, I'm going to check in with that tomorrow. So in tomorrow's daily reading, we're going to connect with that as well on a very deep level. So thank you, angels. What's the energy around you today? So we've got one card sticking out. And two cards jumped out. So this is the guidance coming in from Mother Mary. What's the message around them today? Straight out again. See how the cards just fly out here. And the energy around the journey itself. The energy around the journey. What's the guidance, please, Mother Mary? Yeah, look at that for the for powerful action. Action for the journey. There is action taking place, even if you can't see. It. So what's the affirmation or what do you need to know for you? in this energy what's the message for you today what's the message coming through for you got one card jumping in my hand i still feel there's more yet yeah, that one flew out what's the energy around them the energy around them we've got one card and the energy around the journey itself we've got one card wow and then we're going to bring in this gorgeous tarot deck here what's the message around you straight out wow look at that for powerful and the energy around them What's the energy coming in around them? Wow, they're giving me for them a little bit of stomach pain or indigestion or they may even be going through um, the need to release and let go, which obviously they need to do, but I feel they may be feeling an urge to go to the bathroom. Okay, and that can be for, you know, a number one or a number two, but I feel that they are having that urge to go to the bathroom. They're giving me that very clear and this card's moving too. They're also giving me... A block in the nose, which is about their intuition clearing out. So they may have a stuffy nose or they may have a runny nose. But I feel it's more like a stuffy nose or a blot nose. So they could well be going through cold or flu-like symptoms. And they're also giving me a little bit of congestion in the throat chakra as well. But I feel it's more like cold or flu-like symptoms. So I definitely feel there's some ascension symptoms taking place. But the real message I've got coming through is that they are communicating to you through dreams. So let's see what your message is, love. Look at that love. So Mother Mary is saying to you, love is the answer. Love is the answer to all of your questions. And that's the truth. So if you're questioning things right now, maybe you're feeling a bit angry because they haven't contacted you or because they're still in that situation or because you feel like things still aren't moving forward. Love is the answer. Whenever you go into that kind of questioning energy, it's where we are doubting things and struggling. We're out of, you know, we're out of the power of the now and we're in ego. We are in ego stressing, bringing in a dis-ease, not feeling safe, feeling like there's something wrong. So we start questioning. But questioning is how we find our faith. When we go through doubt, it's how we find faith through the power of love. Because 
If you breathe yourself back into the moment, you'll remember the love is what's real. You know, when we go into that questioning, why, why isn't something happening now? Why aren't I good enough? Aren't I enough? You know, what, what have I done? All these things. We're not feeling love. And love is the answer. Love is power. Love conquers and eradicates fear. Love moves us onto the right path and it brings in everything we desire. So when we question things, we're really stressing, you know, we're causing ourselves unnecessary stress because we're operating in conditional love. Conditional love, which means it's demanding it a certain way or it's expecting it a certain way, putting conditions on it. And we can't demand or put conditions on unconditional love. We just can't. That's how we get disappointed. It's like if you have an expectation and then it doesn't happen, you get disappointed. But if you have an expectation, but you're flexible and adaptable to how that expectation will arise or how it will happen, then you don't go into pain because you get in the flow. You're in the flow of the plan. And that's really where I feel that you need to be doing today. So the message is whatever's going on today, whatever your questions are, love is the answer to all of those questions. Even if you're questioning your job, if you're thinking, oh, should I change my job? I don't know what to do. Love is the answer. Ask yourself the question, do I love my job? If the answer is no, then there needs to be a change. Even if you say, well, I love certain bits of it, but there's other things I need to do differently. That's your answer. Love is the answer. Are you operating today in love or fear? Are you feeling happy or sad? Why? Take responsibility for it. Don't look to them to change. Look to yourself to change to change the way you're viewing things, to be more flexible, adaptable, maybe even a bit more patient and kind and compassionate to be able to handle what's going on. Now we've got joy. So when you're operating in love, you know, when love is the answer, when you're focused more on love, not fear, you feel more joy in your life. You feel better, you feel healthier, happier, and you just enjoy life a bit more. And that's by enjoying this moment. And again, it's about the power of the present moment. That's why so many gurus talk about the moment, okay? It's not like we're just saying, oh, be in the moment. It's power. You know, you've got Eckhart Tolle talking about the moment, Abraham Hicks. Your angels will be guiding you to do that. People say, be more in the moment. Live for today. And it really means just savor everything that you're experiencing right now. And that's how we give thanks to the creator, to God for our life. Because when we are in the moment, we are observing everything, we are truly savoring everything, we're feeling everything, tasting everything, the way that it's meant to be enjoyed in the moment. We're not worrying about the past or the future. We're not missing out on what's right in front of us because we're too busy thinking about what's to come. And it's true, you know, you could be walking down the street <clears throat> and you're hot on your phone. And you're looking at your phone and you're missing all the beautiful things around you. The amount of times I've been walking down the street or I've been in town and I've been walking around and people have not even been looking where they're walking because they are on their phone. And, you know, I've had to move out of the way or say excuse me to people because they're just completely oblivious to what's going on around them. So don't be one of those people. We've all been one of those people at some point on this journey. Don't be that person today who's too busy on the phone or overthinking or stressing or worrying that you're missing out what's happening in the now because... You just might walk past the most amazing sign of your life. You know, when you're in the now and you're feeling grateful as well, and you're feeling grateful for life and you're feeling excited about things, you're open to what's coming. And then you're noticing things around you. And then God will give you more to be grateful for because you're enjoying this moment. And that's what he wants for us all. <clears throat> they give me a block. And you might be thinking, well, how can I be happy in this moment when there's no communication? Or how can I be happy in this moment when they're out with a karmic partner or they're on holiday or they're doing this or that? You can be happy by understanding it's part of their lessons and growth. And it's your job right now to have faith in the love because love is the answer. Love is the answer to all of your questions. So if you're thinking, are they going to stay with that person? Ask yourself the question, do you really think they love them? Do you really think that? Your ego might be telling you that. They give me fear. Oh, the ego. The ego edges all the goodness out of what your connection is. Because you might see something on social media and it triggers you, but it's a false evidence. It's false evidence appearing real. It's not real. So you have to remember that love is the answer. Look beyond the illusion. 
and also walk in grace. So be filled with the same beauty, poise and divine perfection as all of God's other creations. And then you take your time. You don't need to rush anything because you are a fierce and fearless warrior goddess. Look at that. Wow. The divine feminine is a goddess. It doesn't matter whether you are a guy or a gal. You are a warrior goddess. You are fierce and fearless. You're fierce in the way you love. You're fearless in the way you love. When you're operating in love in the moment, you know this love is real and true. And you've got your war paint on there. You can handle whatever's going on today. You can't. By honouring and embracing yourself, your exquisite uniqueness, which means there's nobody like you. There's nobody like you. It doesn't matter who they're with, what they're doing, who they're spending time with, who they're around. That person is not you. So honour yourself today. Embrace yourself today. Accept yourself today. And let go of pain. You know, what I'm feeling here is scream. Challenges grow your soul. Challenges grow your soul. So whatever is challenging you right now is there for a reason. So you may just need to have a good scream today. Have a good scream and get it out of your system. I call that scream therapy because especially if you're dealing with any heartburn or, you know, feelings of, of pain in the heart area or in your, you know, your esophagus, maybe you're burping or you're struggling to digest food or maybe you're burping and you can taste vomit, you know, it's not nice. If you're experiencing any of that, you need to scream because you're holding on to repressed energy that needs to be released. So have a good scream. This card is saying to you, you can't miss out on what's meant for you. You can't. Even if there seems to be conflict around you, challenges, problems, even if you feel like they've said goodbye to you, even if there's other things going on, children involved, whatever it is, it's there for growth. And I feel this is you really needed to shout today. You may even be tired. That could be a yawn that you're doing. Maybe you're saying, I'm tired of this situation. I'm tired. I'm, I'm just sick of it all. I want there to be a change. Or maybe you're just feeling tired yourself. This is an opportunity to give back to yourself. If you're tired today, yes, you're picking up on their energy. They may be feeling tired. They may be feeling angry. Especially if you you know, you know, seem to be attracting wasps right now. If wasps are coming at you and you don't know why. Or maybe you're seeing people arguing or things like that going on. It's because you're connecting with the energy. You know, they're angry at themselves. They need to make a change. And they're tired because they may be having sleepless nights or feeling restless. But this is really about you knowing that if you're feeling tired or drained or you're questioning things or you've had enough, it's time to give back to yourself. Have a pamper day. Do something you enjoy, something you love. Turn off your phone, go outdoors. You know, it's really a sign to turn off your phone because if you're busy on your phone, if you're addicted to your phone, if you keep checking it, if you keep checking their social media, put down your phone and just go for a nice walk, even if it's for 10 minutes. Even if you're thinking, I don't feel safe going out without my phone or it feels weird. Step out of your comfort zone. You're okay. Call on Archangel Michael. He will protect you as you walk around your day. I'm not saying go out at two, three in the morning when it's, it's you know, a bit dark and a bit scary. I'm saying go out in the day if the sun's shining Maybe walk to work or maybe if you're driving to work, maybe park somewhere different and walk a few, you know, meters to work, maybe walk five minutes, maybe get off the bus stop, get off the bus at like a stop early. Just do something a bit different and actually observe your surroundings and you'll be surprised at what you see. But the challenges are happening for your growth. And you may also be a bit tired because... You've had this very dream because I definitely feel there's a sign coming through that they are taking action towards you and they want you to know what action steps they are taking. So they're telling you in dreams. So, for example, they're coming to you in a dream. The dream that yourself may not make sense to you, but you just know, ah, my person's just told me what they're going to do. And in the timing of it as well, you may even get a timeline. Now we've got self-respect. So they need to respect themselves more by choosing themselves. It says, I honour and love myself through my healthy actions. Now, it's not healthy for them to repress what they're feeling. It's not healthy for them to lie to a karmic partner. It's not healthy for them to do a job that they hate. It's not healthy for them to continue doing things they know are bad for them, like addictive things or things that just don't work. So... 
they and you know they're saying that as well if they're not working if they're not working they need to get a job if they're overworking they need to balance their energy they are realizing now and recognizing what they truly need to do and take care of to lead more of a healthier lifestyle and that's honoring and loving themselves through healthy actions which means speaking their truth overcoming their fear walking away from things that don't serve them speaking out to the world about what they truly want and who they truly are and that's why the flamingo is coming in for them here because they're bringing this balance in you know they're focusing on what they are passionate about what they truly want to do they are passionate about you they're so attracted to you it's undeniable you know that attraction that they've attracted to your physical appearance but they're also attracted to the person inside and they may come across like a charmer and all these things to the outside world, but inside they are struggling with pain. And they know who you are. This is how they see you. Okay, they're saying to you, you are a goddess. When they think about you, they see you as an absolute goddess. The divine feminine in their eyes is a goddess. Again, it doesn't matter whether you are a guy or a gal, they see you as the most special thing in the world. And that's why you've got this card that says, I honor and embrace my exquisite uniqueness because there's nobody like you. So they love your beauty and they love your fearlessness. They're giving me fear again there. So anytime you go into fear, remember who you are. Remember your power. So this is your beauty and your light. And they're also starting to recognize through handling their fears and addressing them that they are a goddess too. And what that means is that they are powerful, they are beautiful, they are magical beings and they deserve love and they deserve respect and they first of all deserve that from themselves. So they are learning to honour themselves, to bring balance into their lives by changing their lives in a healthy way. And that's why for the connection, we've got action. Today I take action related to the priorities that I've previously put off. So you're their priority. You're the priority in their life. And they've put this off. They may have put you off. That means they've blocked you. They've ignored you. They've pushed you away. That's putting you off. Or saying, I'll deal with this tomorrow. I can't cope with it today. I'll deal with it another day. That's what they say in the mind. You know, in the mind when they're trying to justify them delaying things or procrastinating or staying in that situation because it's comfortable and they're afraid of making a change they say I'll, I'll, put, I'll do it tomorrow I'll put it off until tomorrow well tomorrow never comes we have to do it today so what they are recognizing is if they've put you off you are becoming a priority in their life now where they have to make a change so you've always been that priority but if they've been pushing you away their priority is really had to be looking in the mirror first because remember you are what so they are saying, right, I'm taking action towards you because you're my, my priority. I've previously put this off. I've previously denied my feelings or pushed you away. No more. I'm not going to do that anymore. And this is also about things they need to take care of. Like, for example, whatever they're coming to you in this dream and telling you, they're going to take care of that. That's going to be their priority if they've been putting that off. So if they come to you, for example, and say, right, I'm going to change my job because I need more money or it isn't serving me, that's what they're going to do. Their action step is to quit their job or get another job or whatever they need to do or sort their finances out. I feel many of them are sorting their finances out and they've been burying their head in the sand about it. Maybe they're in debt. They haven't been facing it. They've been afraid of facing it and they've been putting it off and now they're going to do that. They're going to get everything out and say, right, I need to come up with a plan, an action plan to get out of debt or to take care of my finances. If they're coming forward and saying, right, I'm going to divorce this karmic partner or I'm going to um, leave that relationship I'm in or I'm going to turn that person down, that's the action step they need to take. So they may be looking into legal advice if they need to get divorced. They may be having an open conversation with that person. They may be looking at custody for children. They're taking action steps. They may even be talking to people in their life about what to do, you know, family, friends, people they trust. And they're telling them what they intend to do. They're also taking action to take better care of themselves, eating healthier, giving up addictions, making changes. Now, for you, you're taking action towards your priority. So today, your priority needs to be yourself because you've been pulling that off. So in other words, you've been making everything about them and not 
isn't enough about you. And I'm not saying all of you have been doing that. Maybe you've been really taking care of yourself lately, working on self-love, focusing on service. But it feels like the angel's saying today, make it a day for you. And you might be thinking, well, Liz, I can't, I'm at work. But you can definitely look around you and be in the, the moment and be the observer. I feel the action step you need to take today is to be in the now, to observe this journey through the eyes of love so that love answers all the questions. The action step you need to take is to replace doubt with faith. And if you're asking questions, observe it in a higher way and then see it through the eyes of love and it will all make sense. Remember who you truly are. You are God's child. You are a beautiful divine child of the universe. That means you deserve the world. You deserve all the beautiful things in your life because health is your birthright. And God wants to give you what you deserve. So sometimes we feel like a child. You might think I'm not a child. I'm a grown woman or I'm a grown guy. And that's true. But you are also a child of God and you are protected. And that's why you are deeply connected to ancestral roots. This means there's people around you watching over you. Your loved ones in heaven are with you. Your angels are guiding you. You're not alone, especially if you're dealing with issues in the throat chakra. So I'm really connected with the throat chakra today. So it may really help you today to do a throat chakra cleansing. Or have a good scream, you know. Or even have a good cry. <clears throat> they give me that block there. Or have a good cough. But I feel that if you have a good scream, it's going to release any fear out because it feels like what I'm seeing here is like toxic energy around what's being communicated. And that may even be self-communication. What are you telling yourself? What story are you telling yourself? Because you're speaking things into reality. So if you're saying, oh, everything is bad and negative and everything is this and that, then that's what you manifest. And if you say, my life is all working out wonderfully for me, there's magic around, then that's what you're going to create too. And take some time to rest and reflect today, to take sanctuary and rest in where you are, to be in the moment, to enjoy life. So it may be a quiet day on the front of communication, but they are definitely thinking. And what I'm connecting here as well is the dreams, coming to you in dreams, telling you what's going on in dreams, telling you what action they're going to take in dreams. You know, they're telling you what they're going to do in your dreams to make it a healthy action. So they're coming to you saying, right, I'm going to do this because that's a healthy action. So, you know, you may get something coming in. I'm going to change my job. I'm going to divorce. I'm going to do this and that. And you may get a timeline coming in. Like they may say to you, I'm doing this by the end of the year. Or I'm going to do this in 2025. Or I feel you're going to receive dates and action steps in dreams. And you may have already received that you may be watching this thinking, wow, this happened to me yesterday or the day before or last week. It's a sign from heaven that things are moving forward in the right direction. And don't worry if you haven't had this dream or you can't remember your dreams. It'll come to you in the right moment. Even if you can't remember it in a dream, you may receive a sign or a synchronicity when you're out and about. So you must make sure you're aware and observing instead of being busy on your phone or not paying attention. So the message is today, they are going to show you in dreams or they're going to show you in signs or in some other way that they are taking healthy action towards you to make you and the connection they share with you a priority in their life. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.